So, are you ready for the next question? Shall we solve some more interesting questions? Here is your next question. So, in this question, you need to find the missing numbers. Okay. The first one says twelve, twenty four, thirty six, dash, sixty, seventy two. And your options are forty five. Next one is fifty. Next one is 48 and the last one is 52. Okay. Your second question states 17, 34, 51, dash, 85. Okay. And your options are 68, 55, 62 and 65. Your third one says 15, 30, 45, dash, 75, 90. And your options are a, 50, B, 60, C, 70, and D, 80. Okay? So, what pattern is followed here? It's very easy, right? You are following the skip counting. So, from 12 to 24, what is the difference? Good. It is 12. So, from 24 to 36, 12. So, the next one will be, you have to add 12 from 36, right? So, just see here, 36 plus 12, how much? So, three, 6 plus 2, 8 and 3 plus 1, 4. So, what should be my answer here? 48. Where can you find 48 children? Option C. So, my answer here will be 48. Okay? Shall we do the next one? From 17 to 34. What is the difference? Count and see. Shall we reduce it and see? So, 34 minus 17. So, 14 minus 7 is 7. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Right. So, it is skip counting of 17. So, from 34 to 51 again it is 17. So, what will come here? So, you need to add 51 plus 17 again. So, 1 plus 7, 8, 5 plus 1, 6. So, the answer is 68. Where can you find 68? Option A. So, here it will be 68. Next one, 15 to 30. What is the difference? Good, it is 15. 30 to 45, 15. So, the next one, 45 plus 15. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So, the answer is 60. Where is 60? Here. So, here it will be 60. Clear? Shall we proceed further? Okay. So, here is my next question. My next question says, There are three groups. of students okay seven students form each group five minutes later
five students. walk into the hall and join them how many students are there in all Okay, so did you understand the question? There are three groups of students, okay, and each student, each seven students form each group. So, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, this is group one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is group two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is group three, so which means that seven into three which is nothing but 21, okay. Five minutes later, five students walk into the hall and join them. So, which means after five minutes, five new children are coming in again. So, you need to find how many children are there in all, okay. So, now what you have to do is, you need to add this five children, okay. So, which means that I am having... 7 into 3, which is 21, plus 5, which is 26. So, I have 26 children in total. First, I will be multiplying and then I will be adding my product with the extra 5 children who are walking inside. Is it clear children? Shall we solve some more? Now, I am going to give you few mental maths questions, okay. Let me see how quick we are able to solve them. So, your first question here is, seven tigers have dash eyes. So, how will you solve it? How many eyes a person has? Two. Very good. So, how will I calculate this? So, 7 into 2 which is equals to 14. So, how many eyes? 14 eyes. Got it? The next question. 13 rectangles have dash corners. How many corner one rectangle has? One rectangle has four corners, right? How? One, two, three, four. So, one rectangle is having four corners. We need to find the corners for 13 rectangles. So, how we will do? 13 into 4. So, 3 fours are 12, 1, 1 4 is 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So, my answer is 52. Got it? Next question. 9 triangles have dash sides. So, how many sides one triangle has? 1, 2 and 3, right. So, how many sides do 9 triangle have? So, it means that 9 into 3. So, how much is 9 into 3? Very good. It is 27. So, my answer is 27. Clear? Okay. So, the next one is you need to arrange these numbers Arrange them in ascending order. Okay. First one is 5 into 4, 
second one is 2 into 9 third one is 3 into 6 sorry 3 into 7 and the fourth one is 4 into 6 fine so what we have to do we need to find the product and then we need to arrange them in ascending order right so 5 into 4 is how much 20 2 into 9 is how much 2 nines are very good 18 what is 3 into 7 3 sevens are 21 and what is 4 into 6 4 six are Yes, it is 24. So, how will you arrange an ascending order? So, my order will be, first is the smallest one, right? So, it will be 2 into 9. Then, what is the second one? After 18, it is 20, right? So, the next one will be 5 into 4. After that, which is the next one? 3 into 7, right? So, the next one is 3 into 7. And my last one is 4 into 6. So, this will be my ascending order. Is it clear, children? So, first we need to find the product. And then we need to arrange it in the ascending or the descending order. Whatever the question is asking for. Clear? Shall we move further?